The FCS quarterfinals are here, and this Friday in Missoula, the Montana Grizzlies will host the Furman Paladins at Washington Grizzly Stadium. Like UM's last opponent in Delaware, Furman and Montana have seen each other before, but it's been over two decades since their last meeting, and the stakes couldn't have been higher as the two battled for the 2001 Division I AA National Championship. So, let's throw it back and relive that game in this week's Grizzly Rewind. The date was December 21st, 2001, and the site for the national championship that year? How about Chattanooga, Tennessee? Fitting, since Furman beat Chattanooga last week in the playoffs to advance to this week. Montana was 14-1 entering that game under head coach Joe Glenn, while Furman was 12-2. The weather and conditions for the game was decent, and how about this pregame look at the locker room before the Grizzlies took the field? Defense up cheering for the offense, <laughs> offense up cheering for the defense. When punters and kickers are out there, we're cheering for you too. We'll all holler pass, we'll all holler balls. And all the things that we can do to help from the sideline, we need every ounce of breath you talk to today. The game itself was a low-scoring affair between the two teams, but it was the Grizzlies who struck first as Johansson Humphrey scored on a two-yard run with 6.27 left in the second quarter to make it 7-0 Montana. Then, Chris Snyder added a 35-yard field goal with 53 seconds left in the half to make it 10-0 UM at the break. From there, it was a slugfest, as the two teams didn't score the entire third quarter, but Snyder tacked on another field goal, this one from 30 yards out midway through the fourth quarter to make it 13 to nothing. Furman ended up getting a touchdown on the final play of the game, but it was too little, too late, as the Grizzlies won their second national title in program history with a 13 to six victory over the Paladins. Far beyond exceeds anything that I've ever imagined, you know what I'm saying? I mean, especially the way to go out and everything, this is great. Watch out. Okay. Who are the folks in the... Oh, it was the greatest game of my life. You know, I've never... I've won a couple big side champions besides that. I haven't won anything my whole life. You know, I mean, I've been in some title games and had to sit a couple out. This is just, I mean, the greatest feeling ever for me to come here and win a national championship. That's something no one can ever take away from me. You know, it feels great, man. Good. I expect it. Yeah. We said we were going to do it when we got back from this year. It's unbelievable. It's just awesome. Best story ever. You know, there's still something we owe you, though. Oh, no. Thank you. I really wanted that. Congratulations. It was a grind out game as neither team got over 300 yards of total offense that day. And both teams were 3 for 16 on third down. Humphrey finished with 142 yards on the ground for the Grizzlies, while Atu Molden caught 10 passes for 74 yards from quarterback John Edwards. But the Grizz defense shined that day as Vince Huntsberger and Dave DeCoit each picked off passes, while they also teamed up for a forced and recovered fumble, while Dan Orizadi got in on one and a half sacks. And for the second time in six years, the Grizzlies were national champions. Now, 22 years later, these programs meet again for Friday Night Lights at Washington Grizzly Stadium with a shot at the FCS semifinals on the line when the Grizzlies and Paladins line it up.